in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy words, long preserved for our walk in this world. You are listening to the Good Night Message with your servant, Father Eustace Siame, a selection of Don Bosco on this Tuesday, the 6th of August, 2024, the Feast of the Transfiguration of Our Lord, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, with an encouraging and strengthening message in line with the feast we celebrated today, entitled, Lessons from the Transfiguration of Our Lord. Happy Feast of the Transfiguration of Our Lord that we celebrated today. We are told in the Gospel that we read from Mark chapter 9, verse 2b to 10. After six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him and led them up a high mountain where they were all alone. There he was transfigured before them. This account of the transfiguration is a monumental moment in Christ's faith, rich with lessons of hope, inspiration, and divine glory. Firstly, the transfiguration signifies the unparalleled glory of Jesus Christ. In those brief moments on the mountain, Peter, James, and John saw Jesus in his divine radiance, revealing a glimpse of his heavenly majesty. It was a profound confirmation of his identity as the Son of God. For us, this serves as a reminder that regardless of earthly trials, the glory of Christ is infinitely greater. When we fix our eyes on him, we are reminded that he is sovereign and powerful, capable of transforming our darkest moments into testimonies of his glory. Secondly, the presence of Moses and Elijah during the transfiguration underscores the fulfillment of the law and the prophets in Jesus. This gathering on the mountain symbolizes the culmination of God's redemptive plan. When life seems overwhelming and the future uncertain, we can take heart knowing that God's promises are always fulfilled in His perfect timing. Our faith is rooted in a history of divine loyalty, and this foundation is unshakable. Moreover, the voice of God from the cloud saying, This is my beloved Son whom I love, listen to him, is a command and an assurance. It's an invitation to trust and obey Jesus' teachings, understanding that divine love accompanies divine instruction. In the hustle of daily life, listening to Jesus through prayer, reading scripture and practicing his teachings fosters peace and direction. Lastly, the disciples had to come down from the mountaintop back into the valleys of everyday living. Yet the memory of that divine encounter fortifies them for future trials. Similarly, our moments of closeness with God in worship, prayer, or community are meant to strengthen us for when we return to face life's challenges. These spiritual highs are essential for bolstering our faith giving us the spiritual resilience to navigate through adversities with hope. Indeed, the transfiguration reaffirms that no matter the hardship, Christ's eternal glory overshadows it. His promises are steadfast, his teachings are dependable, and our encounters with him provide lasting strength. Let us embrace these lessons, renewed in our hope and inspired by God's unwavering love and power. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen.
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night as a dreams. Same to you, Father. Yeah.